have said today aside for his special ministration yes, sir. and i do know that god will bring you out of every situation that you have found yourself because you need to be stabilized so that you can be strong to serve god yes sir. and follow god yes and such that you don't compromise mm. your life mm. Amen. and don't end up Amen. in eternity Amen. you don't end up in hell mm. the Amen. truth is that all of this program all of this administration is to build you to prepare you to make sure that the devil the kingdom of hell do not prevail over your life Amen. and therefore snatch you to be in, in, in hell you will not be in hell with Amen. the devil the desire of God is at the end of the day that everyone will be with him everyone will live with yes, him Lord. that's why the church the altars are erected mm. to make sure that every effort the devil is making and the kingdom of hell is making to frustrate you and to railroad you to uh, to, to hell is frustrated yes, and truncated. But by the grace of God, you and I, when the trumpet is called, is blown. When the trumpet is sounded, when the, the roll come, the roll come calling, you will be among the numbers. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why you must be connected to an altar like this that can help to establish you and to, and to put you in the right course. Mm -hmm so that you can be strong and be alive yes. and alert to follow the course and the path yes. that God has created for you. Amen. This morning, I know that God will do something for you. I know that God has purpose to do something very unique in your life. This is hour of triumph, also known as hot. This is a hot altar where we gather together to pray as a family, I'd like you to share this program. I'd like you to call your friends, call your family members, whoever they are. Let's come together. The world, technology this day has made the world a room, not even a, a global village, that we can be in the same room talking to each other and uh, feeling each other. So I'd like you to call your friends, subscribe, like this program. I'd like you to... Uh, to to share this video because your sharing this video makes you to get your share of the grace of this altar. Because Jesus said men ought always to pray. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. So when we pray, we generate heat to make it hot in the camp of our enemies. Yes, That also makes you too hot for the enemy to handle. I know that as we pray today your head will be will be removed from every form of program strangulation in the name of jesus amen so shall it be amen by the grace of god today we'll be praying and we'll be on a specific a special program topic and i titled deliverance of the head amen deliverance of the head the head is so important yes sir and of course when the head is not in the thing that thing can't work it's not yes, going anywhere sir. Yes, sir. that's why you must guide it i'm talking about your physical head now yes yes and of course that also symbolizes your spiritual head so we'll look at the scripture and and go into something be able to understand something so that we can pray the bible says in first samuel chapter 31 verse 8 to 9 he said and it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his three sons falling in Mount Gibor. And they cut off his head and stripped off his armor and sent into the land of the Philistines, ran about to publish it in the house of their idols among the, the people. And I begin to wonder. Why would they still be interested in the head of a dead body? They went to war, and what they were looking for is to defeat, making sure that those people were not alive or they surrendered. But in the following day, they went out after the onslaught of the previous night or previous day, went out to see how far, what damage they have done, and you know, taking stock of their victory, only for them to find that. Saul and his sons 
were dead. But they still went for that to severe their head. The head of Saul from his body. And the Bible said they took the head to the to the house of their God to publish it, to advertise it. My prayer for you is that your head will not be found by your enemy. Amen. Those powers that are looking for your head, they will not find it. Amen. Your head represents your life. Your head represents your existence. Once your head is off, everything is off. So when anyone is looking for your head, he's actually looking for your life. He's looking for your life and everything that you represent. My prayer for you is that your life and everything, everything that you represent shall be delivered Amen. from the hand of your enemy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We have seen so many people whose head have been taken. I'm not talking of physical severance now. Their head have been seized, been placed in altars. No wonder when they are in the physical life, their life is their life is upside down because it's not coordinating with their body. My prayer is today that whoever among your family member whose head have been seized by demonic power and arrested and caged and chained in demonic houses, in demonic altars, shall be delivered. Amen. I remember some years back, a sister came to me. All her siblings have, in fact, the last born, and she's the first daughter, the last born was already in the university, was already doing her master's degree. In the, I mean, in, 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 in a very, very wonderful course. But she was still writing her jam. She told me she remember how she traveled to a city to see one of her relatives. Why she was, she remembered that somebody touched her head and ever since her brain got frozen. She doesn't understand anything. And she was leading the pack of her siblings when it comes to intelligence. She was very brilliant. But since that incident in the dream, she couldn't pass. She could not pass her. And of course, that, at that point, she was uh, almost past the age of, uh, she was almost in her early 40s. And she was already described. I said, well, I'm going to pray for you. You'll go back to school. But thank God for other uh, form of education now. That she, today, she's, she has left, uh, she, you know, she has left Open University. That's more like a correspondent university we have in this country, Nigeria. And she came out with a very good grade. All of that was reversed. Because I just knew that her head was seized. Her head was caged. That was why she was not understanding. She go to the exam hall, she forget all she forgot forgets all she has written, all she has read. And she she couldn't pass her exam. Meanwhile, those whom we were better than before were now better than her because a power touched her head in the dream. I am praying for I receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every power that have touched your head in the dream, in the, in the name, name of Jesus, Christ. that power shall lose its grip. Amen. And your head shall return back. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So when your head is tampered with, yes. your life has been tampered with, that destiny has been tampered with. Now you can imagine. Maybe from the, by the age of 19, I mean, from the age of 19, she has been writing her job. Now we're not talking about 21, over 21 years, 20 plus years, that she was trying to, to get herself to higher education. She really loved to go until a point she got frustrated. She said, Education was not meant for me. Oh my God. But on a closer investigation, we now discover that a power touched her. Oh my God. Why was the Philistines still interested in the head of a dead soul? Why? Why would they be still interested? Because the head of Saul has always been under the control of demons. To make matter worse, they went and advertise his head in the house of idols which is to say we have brought back your property why didn't take the head of others not even the head of his children 
but he took the head of Saul and took it back. Somebody will say, well, maybe because it was the king. Not necessarily so. Because there was something that had already been happening to the head of Saul even before this incident. That's why this prayer you must pray. It. Yes, sir. That's why you must cry. Out. Amen. And as if Saul had known that his head was under seizure. I'm sure he will have suffered deliverance. When he suffered deliverance, it was too late. What he got was something different because the devil has occupied his head, has occupied his brain. I eject every demon that occupied your head, the head of your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The very day we announced this program, Mommy was reminding me of a particular time that I conducted deliverance of the head. I don't do this really. I mean always. I do it really. And a sister there, she was a medical doctor in the church. She brought the picture. She, I mean, on her own, took her initiative. She remembers she had her auntie all the, I mean, all the way in the U.S. And of course, you know in that climb the kind of uh, structure of education that you know they want to provide education to even the to to uh, to anyone that uh, probably had a uh, deficiency but he said these children were almost untrainable so and he bothered her so she brought the picture of the children to to a program so i like you to get if you if you had I, I forgot that i would have asked you but if you can gather the picture of your children of your relatives you know that something is wrong in their lives because sometimes you see people behaving in the way you don't uh, understand or their life is upside down you don't know that something has happened to their head so she brought the picture to the she brought the pictures to, to the program and as we were praying and as i was asking you know people to put their hand on their head she lay one hand on the on on the picture, on the head portion of the picture, and lay her hand on her own head. Then, as a medical doctor, she was working in one hospital. They were paying her as if she was. Uh, she, they were not paying her much. She, they were underpaying her. But after that incident, and she was a good doctor. Today, today she is. Uh, she's a gynecologist. I don't know. I can't remember. Is it or pediatric or something? She's a consultant. She was trying to go for her residency. But it was that same year she had breakthrough. And today she's a, a pedra a consultant. I think either pediatric or, or gynecology. It's about five years now ahead from her. In a foreign country now. She was just somewhere ending next to nothing. I see she was one of those hospitals. She was being on she was complaining about that. But after that, she got a better a better place to walk. And the next thing, the next she was she was um, she had the opportunity to go and do her residency on scholarship. Can you imagine what the devil was doing? The devil does not look for the worst, look for the best. So do you see why the devil is looking for your head? Or looking for the head of men, I pray that every demonic power that is looking for your head will not find it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. After that deliverance, she had a dream that four, four, four packaged, you know, uh, um, gifts was presented to her in the basket of gift. I said, please take. This is the head of your, of your, of your senior sister's uh, children. They were wrapped and decorated as a gift. So they were presented to her on the table. So please take and leave us alone. After then, he didn't tell the sister what she has done. She waited after the exam. After a particular exam. And I asked the sister, how did the children say that? I can't imagine that these children had just turned. He told the sister, this is what happened. This will happen Jesus. all the way Thank in Nigeria, you, thousands Thank of kilometers Jesus. away. Thank you, Lord. God Thank is you, has no respect for yes, this. Yes, sir. And that's why I believe that Maybe wherever you are today, yes, sir. The anointing for in this program today to Jesus. deliver the head. We come to bear Amen. and prevail over Amen. your life. Break Amen. every chain Lord. and remove your hair Amen. from every shadow, Amen. from Amen. every chain, Amen. from every season, Amen. from every imprisonment. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. 
So shall it be. Yes, Lord. Amen. They Amen. took the head and Amen. went Amen. and advertised in the house of their God. Mm-hmm. It is not surprising that the head of Saul ended up in the house of demons. Mm. Because his head has been under the control of demons since the day that David was anointed. And the Bible says, and the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 14. And evil spirit took over. The absence of the Holy Spirit in their life create room for evil spirit. That's why you must do everything to make sure the Holy Spirit does not depart from you. One prayer that David prayed was not any other thing but Lord, let not your Holy Spirit depart from me. Let not your Holy Spirit depart from me. Let me tell you, when the Holy Spirit depart from you, you are empty. In the name of you are in the hands of the devils. And life will be miserable. There's no vacuum in any life. You see that the Holy Spirit is occupying your life? Or demons. That's why you must pray. If you feel, if you just feel absent, sometimes, I mean, I wonder, it amazes me how people survive without the Holy Spirit. I wonder how people survive without being born again, without receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, because that's what creates entrance for the Holy Spirit, and also ensuring that you feel yourself again and again with the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, each time we pray, we are opening up room, pauses, spaces for the Holy Ghost to occupy our space, to occupy our life. That's one more reason, that's one, one of the things you gain in praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because when you pray, the Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. That means when you pray, you won't faint, you'll be strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You draw the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Yes. The Holy Ghost is the is the author and finisher of this altar. Amen. As we pray, he as he pray, he feeds everyone. Look at what the Bible says of the apostle. The Bible says, as they prayed. In the book of Acts, as the disciples prayed, as the believers prayed, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. So each time you pray, you get more filled with the Holy Ghost. And the more filled you are, the more fulfilled you can be like. So as the Holy Ghost departed from Saul, Saul was no longer the person he was. It was the it was demons that was controlling him. I'm almost saying that the real the real person that actually persecuted and 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 and, and, and gave David trouble was not Saul. It was the Holy Spirit. It was the, it was the demonic spirit. Those demons that occupied him. Other Saul was a nice person. He was a loving person. He was an easygoing person. So when you see people change, when you see people, when you see people, when you see people doing some wrong things, you see people attacking you, it's not them, there is a power inside of them that is using them, that have occupied them. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, every power that occupy your box, that occupy your wife, that occupy your children, that occupy your wife, that occupy your husband, that is tormenting you, making them to, using them to torment you, that power shall be dislodged, that power shall be your put in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So as the evil spirit occupies some, you can imagine some now began to misbehave until they had to call an anointed person to play to play musical instrument to calm down or to suspend the activities and oppression of the devil, of those demonic spirits. As I'm ministering right now, in the name of Jesus, I, I remove every demonic spirit that occupy your family, occupy your home, occupy your husband, in the name of Jesus. When you wake up and suddenly discover your husband is misbehaving, becoming aggressive, you wake up and suddenly discover your children misbehaving, your wife misbehaving, it's not ordinary. There's a power that taking over his head that is making that is walking against you that's why that head need to be delivered 
Hallelujah. Amen. So the moment the Amen. evil spirit came upon their life, of, the head of Saul took over him. No wonder when Saul was dead, the demons were interested in that head because it had been their property. I am praying for you today. It wasn't just for exhibition. It wasn't just to advertise that we have killed a king. This is the head of Saul. No, it was because it was their property. I am praying for you. Every power that is looking for your head in the charger shall be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Can you imagine a whole man of God anointed even that the angel had to come down to tell his father talking about Zechariah and talking about John the Baptist. Imagine the man and the role he played. One demonically anointed girl after such a dancing performance the king was moved to reward to award her something to give her a gift to give her a, a to, to give her a, to give her an award and he said what would you want me to give you even up to the half of my kingdom he said no i don't have a, i need the head of john the baptist an anointed man of god that jesus even himself said there's no man as great no prophet that has come that is as great as that means even Moses was not as great that Israel so respected except said no prophet before him was as great as much as the king loved John that demon controlled him to severe his head so John was buried without but without his head what what an ignominable dead what kind of a humility there for such a man that was mightily used by God let me tell you the devil is no respecter of any anointing of place or position that's why your head today must be removed from the hands of the wicked in the name of Jesus your head must be delivered in the name of Jesus if it is not demons how would a king even when he was grieving his heart he couldn't have said, my friend, what are you talking about? Will you get out from here? I will give you something else. Not this man. But demons were in control. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Every demon that is in control. Akademaya. That is in control of your head. Of the head of your husband. Of your wife. Of your children. And makes them to misbehave. That makes them not to not to perform well, even in their school. Malagadai, I pray for you now in the name of Jesus. That demons must be broken in the name of Jesus. Time we fail me to give you so many instances and so many testimonies of a, of of how I mean of of how people's head have been delivered from from uh, from demons and instantly instantly their performance shoot up. Yes now, yes now. I remember a particular sister who was reading the course pharmacy and uh, she was struggling with her study. If I when she was brought to me, her classmate was already doing her masters. Why she was seeing them, um, I think she was still doing her, her second year or something. Struggling. Her classmate was already doing her masters in pharmacy. And she said she found it difficult to even comprehend three paragraphs and you can imagine how voluminous it is for those for those of you or if you know anyone who have read that course so many things you have to read and three hours you can't understand a paragraph how is it going to come out but after that deliverance of the head conducted on her her grace shoot up in the next semester i'm telling you today in the name of jesus in the manner that god delivered those heads and many others that time we fail me to 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 tell you here so so shall god deliver you bring out your head from every strangulation in the name of jesus and so shall it be hallelujah glory to god <laughs> when the head of a person is seized by devils he will be doing wrong things always in error when you see that you're always in error even when you when you are conscious i will not make a mistake always make a mistake you see people always in error you know that head has been caged that head has been seized that head is under control of devils because
because the devil will never do any right thing. Agadiah. Such fellow will be will be taking wrong decisions. A man will end up in the destination where the powers controlling his head listen to. But I pray for you today, in the name of Jesus, every power that is controlling your head, controlling your host, the head of your husband, of your wife, of your children, in the name of that power shall lose his head, shall lose his grip and head, and hold in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The head is so important. Hear me. The head is so important that we. It's a beautiful day. Amen. Amen. Whatever power that have taken hold of any important head in your family, Amen. in the name of in Jesus, name of shall Jesus. release it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Like I said, 
The head is so important. Yes, sir. And the devil is interested because he knows that if you take hold of the head, whatever whatever form of head, he knows that the moment he takes hold of that head, everything in that in a surrounding or attached to that head will be in error, will be a mistake, will become a tragedy. But I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. Every power that have taken hold Amen. of your head, Amen. The head of your husband, the head of your firstborn, the first head of your children, Amen. that makes them to go in error, hmm. make mistakes, go below, go behind. In the name of Jesus, that power shall lose his hold and Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. You are going to say every power, every power that it has taken over my head, taken over my head expire, expire by, fire. by fire. In the name of, Jesus. The name of Jesus, every power, every power that I've taken over, my, taken head, over my head expire, expire by, fire. by fire. In the name every of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Every power that I've taken over my head, lay kataba. Whatever Every head that is, whether the head of your family, Malagana Bagana, whether the head of your boss, whether your old fiscal head. In the name of Jesus, whether the head of your family, a kapalagada, a kadama na magara, that head must be delivered. Le katara magara, yala magere gereba. Open your mouth and pray. Every head that the devil has taken over has seized. Malagada gere ya. Open your mouth and pray. Le kataba, let that head be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, let that power expire. Let that power lose its hold and grip. In the name of Jesus, every power, le katala managaya, ekwatala. Every power, every power that taking hold, every power that taking hold, because when the head is taken over, the part of the body or whatever is attached to you will suffer. Open your mouth and pray. Your suffering will end today. If that head is delivered, open your mouth and pray. Le katala magara, shala bagara bagara. Erala bagara bagere, ekatara managara, rala bagere mene mene, ekatara magere ya, ekatara bagara ya, ina magara mana, ekatara mana ma, opu ya mana pray, every hair, every power, that taking hold over my head, ekatara ma, expire, malakade ya, expire by fire. By in the fire, name of Jesus, Malagana Bagara, really, that power need to expire. A Catinamara, really Bagada Baga, a Catinamara, really Magada Bagada, a Quatara Manama, Chile Macadana Baga, and Alabagadim, Ela Bagatiamana, Ela Bagadamana, Opiamana Pre, a Catarama, every power that I've taken over my head, Japra Leposaki, a Catarama, the head of my ministry, the head of my ministry, the Catarama. Every power, every power, the head of my family, the head of my home, the head of my job, the head of my career, Malabagara, they are taking hold over the head of my children, but every one of them. Malagarama, I command, let that power expire in the name of Jesus. Malagarabagara, be kataramara, e kataramara, e katarabaga, rala bagaraba. E katara bakasha, mali brokote kemana, era la bakatara, every power that taking hold of my life, of my life, of my life, every power that taking hold of my life, mali kaka, that taking hold of my head, the head of my ministry, the head of my home, the head of my family. Open your mouth and pray. Katalama, pray for the firstborn of your family, pray for your first child, yala bakaraba. Ye katara mana mana, ye katara baga. Pray for your head, mana kara baga. If you are prone to error and mistake, ye katara baga. Maybe that struggling, that suffering that you are facing in life is as a result of your head being tampered with in the dream. Open your mouth and pray. Maybe in the physical. Open your mouth and pray. Every power 
Anyone that is demonically anointed, let Katarama that touch my head for evil. I pray, let the influence of such demonic power, let Katarama, but particular those of you who go from place to place for people to lay hands on you, and some of those hands are demonically anointed, influencing and and programming you for error and for mistake. Today the effect of those touch on, on those at demonic anointing and influence on those heads must expire, must break those power, those others that is backing that are projecting those evils into those heads must catch fire, must collapse. Every power that are taking hold of my head, I command, expire in the name of Jesus. Let the head of that control, let the effect of those control over my head. Expire now. Let the head of those control over my head. Expire now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Have you noticed that there are people who, who go for ritual, look for power, and they tell them, go and bring the head of a goat, or go and bring the head of a human being. People have collected, gone to collect her. There was a story that was that we learned sometimes ago, that a young man was caught with a bag, a bag filled with heads. And when they asked him, where are you taking this head to? He said, it's the native doctor that asked you to go and bring the head. Bring the heads of, bring uh, seven heads, I can't remember, I can't remember. About in a bag and was carrying it to a native doctor. These were heads of human beings. This guy has. This guy has was severe. Can imagine what those lives. Maybe those lives that became will have one day become president of a nation. Will have become many, medical doctors. Will have become head of conglomerates, multinationals. But they were severe because one demonic altar was making demand for that head. Just that light little girl was making demand, made demand of the head of John the Baptist. I pray for. You. I receive every power that is demanding for your head. head. Hey. Whether physical or spiritual, that power ah. shall paralyze. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When the head of a man is severe from his body, that man can live. He's dead. When your head has been taken, whether spiritually and deposited in an order, that person is not. That's why you see some people are alive. But when you see them, it's as if they are dead. Why? Because their head has been taken. Their head has been severe from them. Either spiritually or physically. I pray for you today. I receive. That head must be restored. Amen. That head will be restored back now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Every demonic power looking for my head in a charger. Die by fire. Die by in fire. the name of Jesus. In the name of Every Jesus. demonic power Every demonic that power is making demand is making for, demand my head. for my head. Die by fire. Die by fire. Open your mouth and pray. E katia maraya. E rala bagada ya. E katala mana magara. Rele bagadi ya mana. Pale posketele mana ma. E katala mana magara. E katala magara mana. Die, 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 die. Those heads Every were severe for 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 sacrifice. It was because a, a demon, demon made demand from, me, from his prophet and sent the consultant to go and look for her. Malagara, suddenly those people just discover that they were I talking and their head beheaded. And their head beheaded. Open your mana praying. Every power that is making demand for my head. Resort to a tiny death. In the name of Jesus. Malagade Bagara. Jele Magadamana. Open your mouth and pray. In Katala Bakatiana Mana. A Katala Magere Mena. I can't anyone looking for your head. He's looking for your life. He's looking for everything that concerns you. Looking for everything you represent. Open your mouth and pray. I Katala Magere Mena. A Katala Mana. Atale Bakata. Jale Procotere Magara. 
Katanamana, when when Herod took the head of beheaded James, he went after that of Peter. You will have gone through all the heads until the church is finished. Open your mouth and pray. A Katanamana, until the church pray, until the church pray. Herod did not stop. You want to stop that Herod? Malakadina mana, a Katanamana. You want to stop that Herod? Looking for your head, the head of your family, the head of your husband. The head of your children, the head of your firstborn, Akadia Mara, Ekapele Namagada, Manifus Ketele Manama, Brelikatanama, oh my head, be delivered from power that is looking for you in the name of Jesus. Oh my head, be delivered from the Father, Malagara, every head, every power looking for my head, Malakatele Mara, Jere Bagadi Arama, Malabakatele Begede, Ekatala Bagada. Is that a book of the man 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 of Every that power you looking for my head in the charger, in the charger, every power that is interested in my head. I pray now, Malagara, my head is not available for you. Open your mana pray. Every power that is looking for your head, I command that power to die. Let that power die by the fire of the Holy in the name of Jesus. Let that power the head of be delivered. The head of your husband, the head of your daughter, the head of your son, that your firstborn, the head of your wife, the head of your career, the head of your office, the head of your company. The head of your ministry must be delivered from the hands of the wicked, of demonically anointed agents. Every power that robbed your head with demonic anointing. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. Let that power die in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are still going to pray. Yes, sir. That head must be removed Amen. from every demonic order. Must come out. Amen. I say must come out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When you see a serpent. Mm. By the time a particular these conspirators, when you see a python, for example, when you see he gets his prey, after squeezing and strangulating him, he starts swallowing from the head. Because you know, when the head is entered, perhaps there was anything in life remaining, it will just suffocate and die. There are some that struggles and struggle with it, and the moment he can get his mouth on the head and start swallowing, and that and the man that prayer will be struggling and struggling until he enters fully into the into the into the mouth and disappear. Why is he always looking for the head? Because he knows if he gets the head, everything is gone. Yes, sir. Every power that taking over your head, that today you can't see anything, you are always in error, making mistakes, struggling and suffering. That power shall give up now, shall vomit your head. In the name of Jesus, I say, shall vomit your head. In the name. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Daddy, oh, let me tell you. Calibaraya. Somebody, a, somebody told me this, and in fact, a, mm. a close relation told mm. me that while he was small, when he was small, mm. his stepmother, you know, his mother was not around. His stepmother carried chicken, live chicken, mm. turned on his head seven times, and severed the chicken's head from the chicken, mm. from that. Can you chicken, imagine? And said, 
as that chicken's head is severe, that's how his his life will never amount to anything. Wow. And I tell you, this this my relation is still alive today. And his, as we are praying, I just remember that this kind of thing happened. I, I know that today I am going to focus on him and know he will be delivered. Mm. That is what happened to him. That up to today, his life has his life scattered. Imagine yes. severely the head. No severely. wonder the head is uh, yes. No his wonder head, his, head, his head, head is scattered. Yes, yes. He's not, he's he's not, he's not behaving. He remembered, he said, when he was small, nobody was at home. The woman grabbed him and did that to him. And it was when he was growing up, everybody like in this family, everybody is fine. Why should this particular Why should person, this particular person not, be in now remember that this is what his, 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 his uh, stepmother did to him? I stand here in on this altar. In the name of Jesus, I reverse, I reverse that, 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 that exercise that, that, that. now. Amen. I reverse Amen. it now. Amen. That thing that be done in the name of Jesus, I pray now. Makate balakata is severed now. That head is restored. Amen. Is restored Amen. to be saved, to be whole. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. all that have been lost, all that have been lost, all that have been destroyed, I command the restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. can you imagine yes, wickedness? Sir. Yes, sir. Can you yes, imagine sir. why the head? Why the head? Why the head? Ma- that means ma- that chicken. Ma- that chicken ma- has been. Ma- he, he's, he's, he, he, that chicken ma- has been. Has been. His name has been called into that chicken. And Program. severe. Yes. No wonder he's Masika, not. Like his I mean, life his, his life is not coordinating with his life. I pray for you. I whatever power that have taken and severe your life Jesus. spiritually Bakatia. by whatever means Bakatia. in the name Bakatia. of Jesus is restored now. Amen. I say it's restored now. Amen. That head is restored. Amen. Sanity is restored. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's someone who has been having constant headache Masika. for the past three months. Masika. Right Masika. now. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. That headache is gone Amen. now. Amen. I mean that headache is gone Amen. now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That headache will have led you to madness. I pray for you. As you hear this person. declaration. In Stop the taking every Jesus. drugs Amen. because you are healed. Amen. Those drugs will have Amen. will have aggravated things Kapaya and eventually Kapaya translate Kapaya to you Kapaya losing Kapaya. your sanity. Oh my God! I pray for you I now. That my grave is over now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that headache that come with the midnight Mazaka is Zakata. dissolved now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so many things are flowing. Hey. I pray for you now. Malagadeya, Malagadeya, your life is turning back home. Amen. There is a restoration Amen. now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. You are going to pray. Every power, every power that are determined to humiliate that me, determined to humiliate me, expire by fire, expire by in, fire. The in the name every of Jesus. Every power, every power that are determined that to humiliate me, to humiliate expire, me. By, expire fire. by fire, in the name of in the name Jesus. Jesus. Name of Open Jesus. your mouth and pray. Le katara maraga, e katia baga, e katia mana baga, e rada baga katia mana. Every power that are determined to humiliate me, mana katia mana, e kafale bukatia, bala baga de mania, e jabro de kat. Many market every power that determined to humiliate me in the name of Jesus. I say die now, expire now by fire. Rala Bagadaba, a Katara Magadia, a Rala Bagadia, a Quatara Maga, a Katiamana, every power that determined to humiliate me. I say die by fire. A Quatara Baga, Mele Katiamana, Rele Prakatiama, a Quatarimana, every power that determined. To humiliate me in the name of Jesus. Le Katia Bagarama, Mele Bagere Begere me, Da Katala Madabara. Every power that are determined to humiliate me in the name of Jesus. I say die by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every form of humiliation is over in your life. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Like you to make declaration. Yes, sir. Professor upon their heads. If I were you, I would grab my head. Let say my head will not reject this decree and this prophecy in the name of Jesus. Position your head to receive it now in the name of Jesus. Egabaya, in the name of Jesus. I declare, and I declare, mm-hmm. your yes. head is blessed in the name of Jesus. Your head is blessed. Mm. Your head is blessed in the name of Jesus. I want you to know something. 
before I continue this declaration, when uh, all of us are in this air, when we are coming to this air, we came back with our head. Mm -hmm. Once the head is positioned, then they will tell you to push, mm -hmm. and the child will come out. Once the head, once the head is out, every other thing comes out. Mm -hmm. I command that head to be held anywhere. Yes. That's why you see some children come with their leg because the enemy, the, the from womb, the enemy went to attack the head. I command every attack on your head Akaba to expire now. In the name of Aqua Jesus, whether it's from the womb, whether it's from the womb, whether mm. the day you are born, mm. and the devil and his agent touch Arana your head. Bagadaya. Today, mm. I command, I decree that mm. your head is saved, Ekataya. your head is delivered, mm. your head is...
wrong decision people will be making decisions making of, wrong decision because making mistake in their decision in the that decision can 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 scatter and, and bring tragedy open your mind and pray every wrong decision, every wrong decision in the name i have made as a result of or seizure, or siege over my head. Open your mouth and Expire now. In the name of Jesus. The devil may have had his way, but it's opportunity to reverse it now. Every wrong decision that I have made, under the under the control or wrong influence over my head. Open your mouth. Now that your head is delivered. Now that your head is saved. Open your mana pray. Ekatia mana bagara. Irana bagara bagara. Shala magadi gabagara. Ekata bagiri bini gaba. Ekata la mana bagara. Ela bagatia mana bagara. Ela bagiri bini kapala bara. Ela bagadi mana garba re. Oni kapadi mana garba re. Ekata la bagiri bini. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. You are going to say, Oh God, oh God, deliver my head from demonic influence, from demonic, but demonic powers. In the name of Jesus. Say. Oh God, oh God, deliver my head from demonic powers in the name of Jesus. Oh God, deliver my head from demonic influence in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, Lord, deliver the heads of your children from demonic influence, from demonic programming in the name of Jesus. Every demonic hold, every demonic power holding your children, holding your firstborn. Malakatia Marama. You can mention the name of those children. Mention the head of the head of those your organization that have been the head. Oh God, deliver my head from demonic power in the name of Jesus. Saul so was still the king, but his head was under control of demonic powers. No wonder. Even the same soul that have made decisions, not and 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 cancel and 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 made a ban that no one should 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 consult with doctors, but because his head was under demonic influence, was under the control of demons. He Deliver went seeking for which Deliver doctor, the witch of Endor. Open your mouth and pray. When you see you are making errors, unmistakable errors, errors that that can avoidable errors, avoidable mistakes. You know your head is under siege, under oppression. Open your mouth and pray. E katala bagara baya, e katala mana bagara, e katala mana bagara baya, mana bagara baya, e katala a head that is under this. Under the seizure, under the control of demonic powers, we will end up in hell. We end up in jail. Can you imagine? If not because the head of Saul was under the control of demons, why would he decide to kill his take his life because of frustration the devil can take hold of a man's life that the next is considering suicide so that been that was anointed by by god that had the oil of god flowing in his life ended up in the hair because his head was under the control of demons think about that your anointing does not matter when it comes does not come to play when it comes to demonic control, open your mouth. That power must be broken in the name of Jesus. Invoke the anointing by the understanding of this ministration. A man can be anointed and yes, he go to hell. So is in hell now because he committed suicide. Why? Because the demons they pushed him to take his life. Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, when you see yourself being pushed. To do wrong head, things, ordinarily you should not be doing. And after Father, you finish, finish doing Lord, those things, head, and you begin to regret. And tomorrow you see, get back to it. Head. Your head is under demonic control. Open your mouth. That head must be must be delivered in the name of Jesus. Malakadiya manaya, ekatara managarabaya, ekatara man. 
It's a prayer you pray for yourself that God will answer. Lift up your voice and pray. It's your opportunity to take your pound of flesh from the devil's land. When demonic powers take control of your head, the last thing you will think of is going to the house of God. Open your mouth and pray. Talk more praying. Let that paliada baga, e katia baga de mene. Le katara ma, oh God, deliver my head, deliver my head from demonic power, from demonic hold, from demonic influence. In the name of Jesus, le kapalia, e katia mene de mene. Rala baga da ya. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. While your hand is still on your head, I pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you now. Every hand that touched you, when you were child. Every demonic hand that taught you in the dream, in the name of Jesus, every demonic hand that you have put, put, put your head under, that has been laid upon you, and is influencing you and controlling you, today, that hand is with that. I said that hand is with that. The influence, the control over your head, right now, your brain, today, is broken now. In the name of Jesus, that brain that has been seized, that brain that be frozen by demonic Jesus. power, yes, by Lord. demonic touch. Yes, now, now, in the name of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, it is broken now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the effect now is with that. In the name of Jesus, Amen. every altar where it is, it is projected into your head. Right now, come on, let it collapse now. Let the effect expire. In the name of Jesus, I bring out your head from every demonic chain. In the name of Jesus, I bring out your head. That we program for Amen. death right now. Amen. That head will not die. Amen. You will not die before your time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That your firstborn that you're worried about. Rakata, there is a restoration Amen. over his life now. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. There is a restoration. Amen. Restoration Amen. of sanity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The head is made whole now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Every power looking for your head. Looking for your head. And all that concerns you. That power command. Paralyze now. Amen. They will not see you. Amen. I command the eye that is monitoring your head. Let it go blind now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every wrong influence over your head. Aspire now Amen. by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Every sickness that be fired into your head. That right now that is meant to kill you before your time. Today I command. Be delivered from it now. Amen. I said be healed now. Amen. Be made whole now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Power that touch your brain. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let that power wither. Amen. Let your brain return back to intact. Amen. Return intact now. Amen. The brain of your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Glorious God. Hallelujah. What a wonderful time. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sure somebody is free now. Yes, sir. Somebody is free with life. Yes, sir. Somebody is feeling very, very light. Amen. From your head to toe. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is freedom, there is deliverance. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not die before your time. Amen. This is your head. In the name of this Jesus. This is your head. Mark will Kalawara. not be found in demonic orders. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. With this head, Kamasa this head will carry you to good places. Amen. This head we carry you to good places, Amen. to place of favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To Congratulations. Thank you. You begin sir. to see things turn around Amen. in your life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your head is being returned. Amen. It's being returned now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't Glory forget to Lord, share this Lord, program. Hallelujah. Don't also forget to subscribe. Amen. It's Thank so important Jesus. so that you can get the notification yeah, as it comes, as we come on air, mm. as you come, the, as you do the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Connect your friends, Masia your contacts, Katata. and your neighbors, Katata, your relatives to this altar. Use these videos to, to pray, Katata, to gather your family, Katata, to do a retreat, Masu and you will see wonders. This particular, this particular ministration today mm. is going to provoke a lot of things in your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. and also in your life, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. don't forget to send us your your messages. I mean, your testimonies, yes, yes. and um, make comments. Let us know how this program impacts you, yes. and so that others can also be encouraged. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Send your audio testimonies, Amen. your video testimonies. Amen. As you do, the Lord bless you, Jesus. Amen. Don't also forget to call us on the numbers on WhatsApp only, either text or video messages or voice messages as um, as you may desire, and also calls so that you know um, we have uh, uh, we have a, a platform that people can we can attend to you readily. We are here to serve you. God has sent us to serve you. Don't forget that you have your role to play for the advancement of the kingdom of God. And what is that role? By giving. So sow into this program to take it to the ends of the world so that others can be blessed just as you are bless, being blessed now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The details is on the screen. I'd like you to reach out and be a part of it so that you can draw the grace of this altar. Glory to God. And as you do, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I want to pray for everyone that have been supported, that have been giving. You will not run dry. Amen. You will not lack support. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name.